Hey guys, look at this metallic text. I'm gonna actually teach you how to make it in After Effects. Hey guys, look how cool this is. If you actually look closely, you can see that the text is moving. Now guys, this video is brought to you by Envato Elements, but more on that later. First things first, download the video file called Beautiful Metallic Bass Footage in the description. Now open up After Effects and create a new project. Now save that project. Now import that video file that you just downloaded into that new project that you just made. Now create a new composition. Drag that file into that composition. And I want you to take a look at just how beautiful it looks. Now let's type in some text. I'm gonna type in my name, Josh Olufemi. Now go over to the Properties tab and adjust the size of that text to your liking. I'm gonna use a font called US 101, but you can use any font that you like. You can get this specific font for free at defont.com in the link in the description. Now click back on the selection tool. Now go way down on the bottom and click on this tiny little button called the expand or contract the transfer controls pane until you see the track mat dropdown. Now use the Pickwick tool next to the track mat dropdown next to the beautiful metallic base footage and drag it over to the text. The text of course in my case says Joshua Lufemi. Now go over to effects and presets. If you don't see it, go over to the window tab and make sure that effects and presets is checked. Now search for CC glass. Now drag CC glass over onto the beautiful metallic base footage video file. Now twirl down to surface. Go to the bump map. Make sure that source is present in that far dropdown and then change the other dropdown so that it targets my text layer. Now go down to property and make sure that the dropdown is on lightness. Softness should be 50. Height should be 100. Displacement should be 100. Now go down to light and make sure that the first dropdown is on effect light. Make sure that the light intensity is at 100. The light color should be white. The light height should be 65. And the light direction should be negative 45. Now lastly, make sure to leave the shading on its default values. Are you guys still with me? Now go back over to effects and presets and search for the CC Bobbly Lies effect. You're gonna then drag that effect over to that beautiful layer that you have in the timeline. And then again, you're going to adjust the blob layer to target my text layer in the drop down over here. The property should be on lightness. Softness should be around 33, 34, 35, doesn't matter. Cutaway should be at two. And then I want you to leave everything else to their default values. And voila guys, take a look at this. Now, before I show you the proper way to export a text file like this, I'm gonna tell you about Envato Elements. I personally call it the Netflix for video editors because it's a subscription service with a massive library that contains literally the most useful video editing assets that would literally blow any video editor's mind. It's actually funny because I actually see people talk about elements all the time in YouTube ads just like this, but they don't ever show any of my top favorite products that are actually on the site. I've downloaded probably a couple hundred assets from elements just this month. And guess what? You can see a list of all my favorite effects packs in the link below. They are amazing, they're incredible, and they're definitely worth signing up for elements just to use them. Elements is only one price once a month for literally unlimited downloads, and you can get a ridiculous discount with my link in the description. Check it out. Moving on, now go to File and click on Export. Click Add to Render Queue. Go to Highest Quality. The format should be on QuickTime. Format options should be on Animation. Channels should be on RGB plus alpha. This is what allows there to be transparency around your exported text so that when you bring the exported text file, say into Premiere, you'll be able to see the footage behind the text instead of the text just being baked on a black background. Now click OK. Now click on Output 2 and specify the name and the location that you want to export your video file to. Then click Render. Your video file will now be spit out at the previously stated output location. That's it, guys.